Hello, hello, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, very uh, mysterious and not very known condition called the pelvic congestion syndrome that not very well recognized by physicians. Some of them even deny its existence. However, women do suffer from it. Fortunately, there is a simple uh, treatment. Uh, before we uh, move on, uh, do me a favor, please subscribe and hit that like button to help this uh, video. Uh, so, uh, just a quick reminder, veins are those blue vessels that we see represented here that drain the blood back to the heart. And in the case of pelvic congestion syndrome, the drainage is made mainly through uh, two veins called the ovarian veins. Uh, the left one goes to connect to the left renal vein, while the right one, most of the time, connects to the inferior vena cava. So, uh, the problem is, uh, sometimes they can be dysfunctional, they can be the site of reflux, um, causing a poor drainage of uh, blood from the ovaries and the female organs leading to a whole constellation of symptoms. So this syndrome is uh, defined by chronic pain that lasts more than six months. It is uh, affecting women worse after a prolonged period of standing. Um, typically it will affect women of childbearing age especially if they had more than two pregnancies and usually those signs are exacerbated uh, at the end of the day and relieved early in the morning out of bed so what are the symptoms that you may encounter you typically may find uh, pelvic or abdominal pain sensation of heaviness within the pelvis or the stomach uh, sometimes it may even affect the legs that feels heavy uh, women may also uh, experience period pain or pain during sexual intercourse uh, especially if women suffer from those varicose veins which are like bulging veins in their vulva, vagina, um, abdominal wall, sometimes may even give them hemorrhoids. Fortunately the diagnosis is uh, very easy, it can be diagnosed with all range of imaging tools and the most um, easy is ultrasound. Ultrasound can tell us if there are dilated bulging veins. Another modality is CT. A CT scan with injection of contrast shows here a huge dilated left ovarian vein connecting to the left kidney and draining into a bag of varices within the pelvis. And this would cause those symptoms because of the stagnation of blood within the uh, uh, lower part of the abdomen and the poor drainage of, uh, uh, of blood flow. And uh, another modality to diagnose them is simply MRI, which is probably the best one, and also can take a look at everything, so if there's a snapshot of what's going on in the pelvis, but also we'll take a look at the female organ and tell us if there are other, other abnormalities associated, like fibroids. And finally, uh, venography is mainly a tool for treatment, not really for diagnosis. And here we see uh, a venography that is done uh, just prior to placement of coil by interventional radiology, which we'll describe now. So uh, this is a case of a uh, young woman with uh, presenting with a pain chronic pain in the pelvis and uh, other symptoms in her legs and her MRI showed uh, the presence of a fibroid in the uterus that we see here so there was a little fibroid uh, but this was not the main cause of uh, her symptoms in reality uh, her problem were related to these dilated veins that you see here so these uh, in white this is the MRI uh, we're looking at it from the side, this is the uterus, um, and uh, as we scroll through we can see clearly there are a lot of veins that are dilated and they communicate a little bit in the pelvic area and they drain into the other veins in the pelvis, the gluteal region, etc. So patient was suffering from a what we call a pelvic congestion sy syndrome where those veins uh, cause reflux and stasis of blood in the pelvis and because they're difficult to diagnose it's hard for the doctors to 
think of this diagnosis and uh, refer the patient to the appropriate specialist. So we're looking here from the top, we can see those veins dilated from both sides of the uterus. These are the ovaries. Uh, clearly we see like a bag of worms uh, uh, related to dilated veins. They go around the, the rectum. And uh, we can see here the fibroids in the uterus with the other ovary here. So uh, what I'm showing you here is just the, uh, a, uh, an investigation called a venogram where the doctor enters inside the vein of the patient and inject a special dye that allows us to visualize the vein. So what we're looking here is uh, the vein of the, the right side of the pelvis, the iliac vein. Uh, we did this examination and this investigation because the patient had other symptoms in her leg and he wanted to make sure that there's no uh, problem with her leg veins. Sometimes uh, pelvic congestion symptom syndrome may manifest or be the consequence of uh, compression of the veins like we like syndrome like May Turner for example or other type of compression synd syndrome. So her vein uh, looked uh, with no abnormalities. We also means with uh, what we call uh, IVUS, IVUS, which is intravascular ultrasound, where we enter inside the vein with an ultrasound and we look and we measure, and we make sure there's no clot, there's no compression of the uh, uh, the vein by, by an artery. Uh, like for example, here there was an artery, but there's not real compression and we can do precise measurement of the veins and see them from the inside to rule out any abnormality. So in her, in her case, there was no real abnormalities within her leg veins. So we decided to move to the next uh, uh, level of the procedure, which is the embolization. So I'm just gonna take you uh, quickly through the procedure. This is a uh, very easy, simple procedure that is done under uh, local uh, anesthesia and sedation. This procedure should be done by a specialist called interventional radiologist. And the reason because uh, interventional radiologists are doctors specially trained in all the techniques of embolization and they are the expert in embolization. So uh, we enter into the ovarian vein of the patient, uh, which comes out of the left renal vein. Once we uh, are in a uh, stable condition with a small tiny little microcatheter that you see here uh, we inject some dye of contrast that allow us to visualize the reflux this is the reflux of blood within the ovarian vein all the way down to the pelvis and uh, as you can see here in this special image uh, we are injecting the dye or the contrast in the left ovarian vein but instead of going up everything refluxes down under the force of gravity and there's a stasis of flow within this dilated uh, pelvic varices are that are located from both sides of the uterus. The uterus is in this midline and these veins are located on both sides. They cause stasis of blood, they cause um, inefficient drainage uh, of bad poorly oxygenated blood which uh, will cause inflammation, uh, reactive uh, uh, oxidation of these uh, of the organs and poor oxygenation leading to the the pain and the inflammation that the patient will um, feel so the goal the, the strategy here for us is to interventional radiologists is to get uh, and to remove these veins and to prevent the reflux so different strategies one of them consists in uh, injecting what we call sclero sclerose or scler sclerotherapy so once we get into uh, inside those veins, we're simply going to destroy them by injecting a foam that will take care of the um, of those veins. It will cause them to sclerose and shut down immediately. And this is what we're doing here. We're using a uh, foam sclerotherapy. So the foam is injected and you can see immediately those veins have uh, disappeared. Uh, so what we have here is a normal vein of the uterus, draining the uterus and the ovary. And, uh, and we went to check the other side because uh, there are two veins, one on each side. We found the ovarian vein on the right side and you see also uh, had issues of reflux. I'm gonna do an injection. You see that everything is refluxing under the gravity force towards the pelvis on the right side now of the uterus, forming those uh, dilated varicose veins. So in this case, um, 
since there was a lot of large communication uh, with the normal veins we decided to uh, do an embolization with glue and this is the glue that we are injecting that will ultimately cause this vein to just uh, shut down uh, immediately with no issues so here final injection demonstrated a successful occlusion no more blood refluxing and stagnating um, procedure was done quickly under uh, moderate sedation and the patient was discharged home that she had no no symptoms and she had a uh, very good recovery and uh, decrease of her symptoms thank you